Boris Johnson has announced the four-step easing of England's lockdown. If all goes to plan, almost all restrictions will be gone by the end of June. Here are the key dates. Step one, on March 8th, all students will return to schools and colleges. You'll be able to socialise with one person outside and it doesn't need to be exercise. Care home residents will be allowed one registered named visitor. From the 29th of March, the stay at home order will end. On the same day, the rule of six will be back for outdoor gatherings. This includes meeting in private gardens. However, people will still be expected to work from home and overseas travel will still not be permitted apart from a few exemptions. Step two. Step two will happen no earlier than April 12th. This step involves the reopening of non-essential retail like hairdressers, gyms, outdoor restaurants and beer gardens. But this time there won't be curfews or substantial meals required. You'll also be able to go to campsites and holiday lets as long as there is no household mixing. Households will not be permitted to mix indoors either. Things like zoos and theme parks will also reopen. Weddings will be able to have 15 guests up from six. Step three, this will happen no earlier than May 17th. Outdoor gatherings of up to 30 people will be allowed in this step. Indoor hospitality will be open like cinema plus indoor sporting events or performances, as long as the crowd isn't bigger than a thousand or the venue is half full, whichever is smaller. The crowds can be up to 4,000 for outdoor events and football stadiums like Wembley can have up to 10,000 spectators. International travel will be reviewed at this stage too. Step four. This last step will happen no earlier than June 21st. All limit on social contact will be removed and all remaining businesses will be open, including nightclubs, which have been shut since the first lockdown in March. Limits on weddings and funerals will also be removed. So this is the plan, but dates are all subject to change because it's all going to be guided by data. If numbers of hospitalizations don't rise, if the vaccine program is a success and if there are no new risks caused by new virus variants.